We interrupt hog season, which that's what we've been doing, to bring you something that you don't see much anymore. In the old days, before deer, turkeys, and everything like that got so popular, everybody small game hunted. Now these days, there's very few people who still maintain a pack of beagles, especially a good pack of beagles. But I'm not even going to shoot. I'm just going to film and watch. But we got a friend of mine that's come down. He's brought his beagles. Uh, got some guys that go with him. These guys have rabbit hunted for as long as I can remember. And fixed to go check in on my old buddy Richard. See what's going on with the rabbits. See if those beagles can get on Mr. Cottontail. Good morning. I've had to be kind of quiet now. Can I get quiet? All right. All right, talking with James here. James, this is your Beagles. Yeah, this is my Beagles. All right, sound like they already own something. Yeah, they already own a rabbit. <laughs> All right. James keeps good dogs. He doesn't put up with foolishness. That's right. So, we'll be a dog. That's what I was just fixing to ask you, James. They bad about getting on a deer or anything? What would you just call that rabbit that they're on now? The mail carrier. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's way, way down still yeah, traveling. He's trying to finish his route. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he is. The dogs have run about the point where we can't hear them anymore. There's a lot of water in here. It's, it's been wet. It's been wet. Those bottoms are pretty well flooded out. <laughs> How long have you guys been rabbit hunting together? Probably from 1976, 78, somewhere back in there. Were there more rabbits back then? or was we... more rabbits you can shake a stick at. So like everything else, the numbers are down a little bit compared when yes, everybody had little farms and hedgerows. And... Yes, it is. It's very, very low now. It was time we can kill 40, 50 rabbits and wouldn't have to move over three or four acres. Uh, it's just right there in the spot. Sometimes you can just stand still and the dogs bring them past you. But now, you can find one here and one there. I have noticed the same thing. Not nearly as many rabbits, as many quail, all the small game. And I don't know if it's predators or lack of habitat or what, but it's different. Sounds like our dogs are making a turn. Yeah, I think they're coming back. You ready? Yeah, no, I'm good. I'll get behind you. I'm gonna grab Oh, you letting him run? Got up out there in that burn. She's calling him back in. Dogs are definitely on the rabbit. These guys are standing. 
various places along this road through those pines. I think we got one rabbit down and I'm hoping they stay on this other one. And we get it on the field, I hope. If not, we'll just film the recovery. Get a rabbit flushed out here. Alright, this is the dog. Now James, you are the dog man. Yep, I ain't the dog yeah. man. Alright, James, you how long have you had this pack of beagles or run beagles? About fourteen years. He bleeds them in and out. <laughs> yeah, I really do any of that. I tell you what, them dogs are in shape too, because they didn't nobody got tired, nobody nothing. I'm gonna back off in where we get y'all come on in a little bit together. <laughs> All right, now we did not get a rabbit this time, but y'all are still at it. I got a crew that's having to plant, so we're going to have to relocate, but I'm going to check in with y'all later today, and hopefully we got a tailgate full of rabbits. We'll see. All right. We'll see, Richard. All right. <laughs> okay.